From the library's homepage, which is library.highline.edu, let's search for articles using the OneSearch tool. OneSearch allows us to search most of the library's databases to find books, videos, and articles with a single search, including online articles, ebooks, and streaming videos. Let's start with Advanced Search to give us more searching options. The hardest part of doing research can be identifying the best search terms to enter, so let's try it together. Let's say we need to find information related to Knapp's model of relationship development for a speech. We could start with Knapp's, develop, Knapp's model of relationship development just to see what happens. Notice we put quotation marks around words when we want to search with that exact phrase, meaning those words in exactly that order. When we do this search, we get zero results, but we shouldn't give up too fast. Now let's try Knapp's model of relationship development without the quotation marks. Notice right away that many of the results are completely off topic for us, but there's one result that seems on topic, development of relationship stage measures. The title of this article gives us an idea for some possible search terms, stages, and relationship development. So let's try one search, advanced search, using these terms. We're still getting a lot of unrelated articles with, the, with some that might be useful, so let's stop and think about what we're actually looking for. If we plan to focus our speech around one stage in Knapp's relationship development model, then we should search for that stage instead. For example, if we really want to focus our speech on first impressions and dating, then let's try those search terms. Now we see some articles that seem to be on topic, but we can also use the menu on the left to narrow down our results even further. For example, if our instructor requires that we use at least one scholarly journal article, we can use the peer-reviewed journals limiter to narrow our results to only show scholarly or peer-reviewed articles. Notice that scholarly and peer-reviewed articles basically mean the same thing. Now we're getting a little closer to what we actually need. This first article, Love, Technology, and Dating, looks like it might be useful, so we click on the title. On the next screen, the abstract tells us, according to a recent study, we generate lasting impressions of a potential love mate within the first three seconds of meeting him or her. That definitely looks promising, so we click the link under View It to access the article from the Research Library database. Here we can read the article. If we decide to use this article, it's best to use the PDF version so we also have page numbers in case we want to quote from the article. Notice that we can also email or print the article, and we can get the citation for it too. This is one of my favorite features of the library databases, because once I find my citation, I can copy and paste it, and then I've got it. We can also do a similar search in Google or Google Scholar. We won't be able to get the citation from a Google Scholar, so we'll have to write it ourselves, or we can look for the article in the library's OneSearch tool to see if we can find the citation there. We should be sure to choose results from the list that allow us to have access to the full text of the article for free. If you need an article you find here and it asks you to pay for it, never do that. Instead, check OneSearch to see if the article is available there. Even if it's not, the Highland College Library might be able to get the article for you for free through our interlibrary loan service. And of course, if you ever have questions while doing research or creating citations, please contact the Highland College librarians. You can chat live with a librarian or email us. We're here to help you with your research needs.